Okay, power, money, and control, ladies and gentlemen. Anyway, this one guy put this out. I'm cutting out what I need to cut out for what I'm being smart about. I'm basically going to show you Tesla, uh, power, money, and control. Uh, basically, we did have a deal back in 1859. Magnetic storm. Uh, I can take you and show you by basically blowing up here and basically this is going to be a hack pretty fast because basically I've done this real nice and then I got screwed with on loading and uploading so anyway this all happened folks and I'm going to take you some more history real fast here and basically this is all that and we'll take you to more because you, you can always put full screen and pause and then you can read everything that I share real fast. It's all truth, actual to happen, and so forth and so on. Uh, here's some more uh, facts from communications back in the day. This all did happen. Everything's going to be totally safe uh, that I was taking to you to, and I'll give you the address of that tape. Uh, power money. So this is basically you can freeze all this stuff, and this is historical stuff back in the day in 1859. Oh, actually, this stuff happened in 1859. Uh, I'll take you to Solar Artist again here, and this is basically historical messages here and so forth and so on. Now as I scroll down through this, this will give you some events that happened. Okay, this happened in 1859, and there's also other events that have happened since then. We'll go down here, through here. You can always freeze this. In 72 we had one, 89. And the one of the best thing that we have is we have fiber optic, folks. So basically, old Ma Bell commercials and fiber optic, you guys, anybody out there knows. And yes, it's redundancy, redundancy. It helps out a lot. Okay. Uh, there will keep being little glitches here and there, transformers around the world and the United States, so forth. But we have uh, redundancy, 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 and it fix a lot of stuff. Okay. So let me go to solar images. Now, if we go to solar images, we have some older pictures, uh, and basically, we know the overlay and stuff that they do, but as you see, we start getting ones that don't show up, and here we got Lasco and stuff and so forth, and I'll go to see what we can see. I don't think I'll have time in this video. I'll do it in the other one, but we have some, uh, basically, data that here will show us raw that there is getting disruption of signals, so more than likely, we're not getting pictures because, as you see, Either that or we're doing mitigation of something of CMEs that are coming possibly towards Earth or we have gotten around the satellites because as you see the telemetry is messed up. Okay, That means and then basically we have drastics that are going on with as you see I mean if you see that on a graph you know that there's drastic something going on. Okay, So we are seeing anomalies and we have seen big ups and down drops just like bam all of a sudden down too big drops that I've had people asking about it and yes it's all oscilloscope action here is what you're looking at and we have big drops big ups and downs uh, remember we're gonna have that big object coming bar on, on RSOE and basically anything if you in the NASA sites because that's what they get their info from but that one is gonna be coming by very very fast uh, as you can see we also have dramatic stuff going on on sunspots on it on the Sun i.e. we do have the overlays that they end up showing us from whenever they've showed them but as you see other stereo so forth and so on and I haven't even take time to look yet I'm not too worried about it because no matter what okay and then there's dramatic CMEs coming up that's the Sun that's Earth uh, you have all these being uh, satellites stereo A and B they are getting affected as you see down there they weren't getting current shots uh, Mercury and then also has a messenger hiding out behind Mercury to get shots of the sun. As close as we can, as you see the box around Mercury, that basically messenger is shading. They're using messenger, uh, Mercury as a shader to get some dramatic history shots of all this that's going on up there. So it's going to be interesting to see. We've already seen, I believe, that what it was, we had Mars. We've already known to see Mars and Mercury and Jupiter get... Uh, give CME reactive flares to CME action from the Sun and the supergiants this year so far. So, and IE have been having fun trying to get a video out today because they've been playing around with it. But here we see our axis is way off. <coughs> we go through Earth at more than 
60,000 miles an hour, and we're going 6,000 miles an hour faster through space right now than we ever have before that we know of. Uh, everything's fine. Uh, we've been here before, and man has survived, and everything is hunky-dory and all that. Now, we 1859, we did get the electrical CME action. They've seen the color of the sky and so forth and everything like that. And there's all kinds of historical reports to go and look at and so forth and so on. So uh, observations from telegraphers to this and that. But telegraph wires did catch on fire. Uh, telegraph stations because they were wood. So as I scroll through that other information for you, all this stuff has happened. Uh, let's go ahead and go to NASA's site too, that they're basically blabbing their mouth. They know that something possibly going to happen. We've already had a lot of CME action. We might get worse, maybe. Who knows? <coughs> <coughs> Yes, Tesla was awesome in power, money, and control, and they wrangled because Tesla ended up doing things cheaper, and you can get more money out of the public and get everything back to like that 1% that they always say that ends up with all the money, and that pretty much is. World's Columbian Exposition was the Chicago World's Fair, and you can see that the idea that uh, if you go there to this article, they'll show you about how the money wrangling was going on right here. And basically, the one name you need to make, and, and everybody knows about that, and keep an eye on that. But all these names exist, and all these families still exist to these days, gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, folks. And there might be some that have been uh, heisted off into a cold little corner. Who really knows? I'm not into that. Basically, just throwing you facts and actuality that there was a good little tussle around for the electrical power for the Chicago's World's Fair, and also there was a bunch of wrangling for the bid for the Chicago's World's Fair. Now, what I'm going to take you to real fast is I'm going to blow this up, because basically every electrician out there might wet their pants and start figuring out the idea that they know how to, and basically it's easily known, how to get static electricity. And yes, folks, since I started recording this, there's been a little bit taken away from this picture here. And I'm going to go back and see if I can get it from the other picture. But basically, there is a good recipe for getting static electricity from static electricity. And basically, Tesla was the bomb. He could get free electricity from static electricity from the air, folks. And it's out there. I know the recipe, and a lot of other electricians do too. Now, we sneak into Tesla's lab here, and all, any electrician out there is going to start wetting their pants because they're going to figure out that basically, yes, you can grab electricity from as we will scan through this photo at a <laughs> yes and hopefully we won't get disturbed this time as we go through here is there is a nice recipe because basically it is all there yippers and then there's power money and control so don't get in trouble selling this to anybody you can make your own but don't Get in trouble selling to anybody. And this is one of the 12 uh, switch areas where this might have actually been just the main and he had control of all of it and the technology because it was somebody's lab, as you can see. Nice jacket there. Uh, and it's all static electricity and you can get it from, and with modern day stuff now, you can even actually get it very much more easily. You don't just need solar panels, folks. You can get static electricity from open air off of an antenna. It's out there. Technology's there. So anyway, if there's really no money to be made doing it. So that's the not even a secret. Okay. So just educating and sharing, and you see something that I've got hi highlighted up as the main thing to keep an eye idea, idea on. And yes, they wrangled and they wrangled, and Westinghouse got it, and they powered it. And there's a lot of interesting history to Tesla, and no one really can hide it all. And this guy had control of him after a while, basically had control of him right away, and Mr. Westinghouse got run out of business because the idea that, not totally, but anyway, 
And basically, so there's always power, money, and control, and tussles and bustles, and we see buildings fall down because of other tussles and bustles of the world. Uh, Godzilla and King Kong bouncing around in a big city, and things go tumbling down. And we all know that it was our terroristical enemies that did that. And more than likely, it probably was. So all this stuff is out there in space, folks. My video, uh, I show you some NASA footage here that basically shows you straight up on that stuff. I was hoping to go to Solar Image and be able to get uh, these objects that end up being seen on uh, some of the, uh, when you get the, on the backside and so forth and so on, on some of the data and telemetry that you can get from outer space on the sun. Uh, I've been able to show some of it in the past and so forth and you'll see those objects out there in space and basically it's a huge the sun is a huge electric motor folks so we end up being of uh, whatever we get here on earth from the light energy to heat us and warmth and then the idea that what we will get to counter any man-made electrical that we always have redundancy for at least in the United States for taking care of when we have problems like this because they are not getting signals very good as you see, it's getting broke up. So then the idea that we do not get the images from some of the satellites, i.e. bam, bam, bam. And we do know that because they can see that with a telescope and other means. And so there's a lot of activity going on at the sun. Uh, it's just stuff that you got to watch. We'll end up watching and watching and watching because that's where it's going to come from. And we have these dramatic CMEs coming down. And it looks like somewhat the massive red in orange and yellow somewhat hit missing earth earth is the yellow spot so we have to keep uh, eyes on what's going on out there in space uh, don't let the uh, doom and gloomers on that I'm gonna show you that video and the guy standard YouTube it out don't let them doom and fear you to death because the idea that more than likely maybe the worst is already passed of all the Aurora action and so forth and yes folks when you get all that let me see if I go to spaceweather.com and see if they got anything new so we have dramatic action up at the Aurora I want to give it out to them for sending these pictures into spaceweather.com. I want to give it out to spaceweather.com also. So, very interesting aurora action. And that is Jupiter and the moon, ladies and gentlemen. And we've seen that a lot this month so far over in Hawaii also. Uh, so, aurora is being seen not even at the north. Okay, And also uh, terrestrial stars being red. Uh, blue and green, basically radioactive, other than the northern. Okay, so a lot of stuff going on. It's a very interesting time to be watching space and watching uh, everything that's been going on because we've even proved that Lovejoy, basically just like an electrical motor, got turned around out there in space. It's just like a three phase motor, ladies and gentlemen. Comment Lovejoy because when we've seen it go by Jupiter, and you see what's going on with Jupiter up here in these photos, and it's just electrical magna of outer space, and electrical physicists and stuff are starting to learn stuff. Uh, I'm learning stuff just like Tesla figured out the idea of the CME and the electrical static, electrical through space and, and through our atmosphere that you can do when he was basically investigated uh, telegraph the uh, fires back in 1859 and so forth and so on and then figure stuff out so interesting stuff and you can plot all these planets through space on any worldwide telescope or any whiskey or any kind of software that you have for objects going through space folks that is earth down there all these planets are out there and exist the sun is a solar magnetic machine motor electrical and we get electrical from it Okay, now the Earth is pretty much down here where it says Earth. Okay, and the mark was there just a second ago. I, maybe I can get it there. We can get it back. Uh, we are doing this turn, and basically the Earth is the red line. Okay, so we are going to be coming up closer to Uranus, and we might even actually be there right now. You need to go to your plotters and figure out exactly. I'll try to go to NASA's deal and, and watch that turn. I've already kind of showed it in some videos a long time ago when we were watching the comet action and so forth and so on. But all these objects exist, and they're out there, they're huge, and the electrical activity, CME action from the sun and the supergiants is out there and does exist. We've got 153 years ago that basically the telegraph wires 
started all the wood buildings on fire, and we've had insulations. Everything's fine, America's got redundancy.